Hey everyone, Katrina Sawa here. How are you this morning? I wanted to uh, share some thoughts. I was getting ready this morning. This is where I get all my brainstorming is when I'm in the shower or doing my hair or my makeup. And I had some thoughts about high performance. We see a lot of coaches out there calling themselves high performance coaches and there's that's more power to them. That's awesome. But what's been going on for me regarding that high performance trend that seems to be out there these days is that the comparison trap has been entering into my little brain about it. And over the last probably 12 months, actually. And I thought I would just share some thoughts on some realizations I had this morning, uh, in fact, about high performance activities, personalities, act, that kind of thing. So hi everyone, Denise, Chuck, thanks for showing up. Um, and please share your comments below because uh, this, uh, you know, you never know. This might spark some controversy, in fact. <laughs> uh, so for me, high performance is, uh, well, when I see the high performance coaches out there, and you know who I'm talking about, probably, um, I think to myself, oh, I really need to be more like them. I know, silly, right? I really need to be more high performance, so much so that I actually pulled my husband aside a few nights ago and said, honey, you know, you're starting your own business, I have my own business, and how come we're not, I don't feel like we're like these high performance people, because, you know, number one, we like our downtime, high performance people, definitely don't watch TV ever. Like, I don't know how they survive without some of these Netflix shows, but whatever, you know, like, <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like I felt for many months that I needed to be more high performance, high energy, well, well, in my marketing on Facebook and all this stuff and just be rah, rah. Like, and you know what? I realized it's like, that's not me. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love to motivate, I love to inspire, and I love to give people ahas in their business, and uh, I love to, uh, you know, really give people tons of great advice and content and feedback, and, and I do it in a very exciting way at my events and in my mastermind retreats and with some of my coaching calls, and I get people ramped up and all that, but on an everyday basis, no, no, I don't want to climb mountains. I don't want to be in the gym for two hours a day, much less even two minutes, frankly. I'm not a big exercise fanatic, nor do I want to be. Um, I don't want to be on a TEDx stage. I could care less about being on a TEDx stage, and there's nothing wrong with being on one. It's just I realized, you know, I don't, I don't want to be those things. And those things things seem to be what these high performance experts are claiming that you should want to do if you want to be super uber duper successful like them, right? <laughs> I don't want to walk on fire. I don't want to, you know, do bungee jumping. I don't want to jump out of a plane. I really don't want to do any of that. <laughs> and I'm okay with it. <laughs> and But for the longest time, I've been feeling guilty that I don't want to be those things, or I shouldn't want to work out more, or have a healthy body. I want a healthy body, don't get me wrong, but I don't want to work that hard at it. I mean, can I get an amen for some of you who feel the same way? Now, don't get me wrong, I'm taking good care of my body with nutrition and supplements and different things like that, but I don't, I don't want to like work that hard. And I've also had lots of surgeries, so I have had, had two total hip replacement surgeries. I've had a toe surgery. I have arthritis on my foot, I have a knee issue right now. It's like, I am not gonna be climbing Mount Everest anytime soon, nor am I gonna be running a triathlon. And even if I was completely healthy and my body was completely healthy, I don't think I would wanna do that anyways. I would much rather, uh, you know, hang out on the weekends, maybe go camping, although I really prefer a hotel. Um, <laughs> uh, maybe go wine tasting, hang out with friends, barbecue, play games. Like I'm a very low maintenance homebody kind of a gal when I'm not out and about traveling and networking and stuff like that. <laughs> Thanks, Dana. I get it. Okay, good. I'm not the only one. But hi, hi, Gary. Hi, Chris. Uh, please comment below. Let me know if you're if you consider yourself like high performance 
or not so high performance and do you feel guilty about it? Because for the longest time I felt guilty and I am saying no more to that. No more am I going to feel guilty about the way that I want to live my life. And all along I preach to people, it's like you have got to be, you've got to design the business around the kind of life you want to live. If you want to be high performance, awesome. Let's design the business around that. And I have a couple um, high performance clients, I would say. Although, when you look at them really closely, they like to goof off. They like to, you know, take vacations and sit on the beach with margaritas. And, you know, I don't typically surround myself with people who are vegans and don't drink and who exercise two hours a day. That's not people who usually I hang out with. Um, <laughs> but every once in a while, those people cross my path, and and one of the other comparison traps that's had me just, uh, you know, in a just a frenzy over the last many years, actually, is like I see these people, and they're pulling in anywhere from 150 to 800 people to their live events, and I'm like, well, why? Aren't people coming to my live events? Maybe I need to be more hypey and and high performance and rah rah in my marketing and my posts with hearts and smiley faces and all this ya 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 stuff that is just not my personality. Um, I try sometimes to be a little bit more like that, but um, on an everyday basis, <laughs> that's just not who I am, you know. And so how come they're getting all these people to their live events and people are attracted to that kind of an energy? True, I see it all the time. And unless I bring that kind of energy, then I'm still gonna get 30 to 50 people at my live events, <clears throat> you know, and that's been bugging me for years. But you know what, I really, I realize that a lot of the people that go to those events that, that uh, follow those types of people actually don't live like them, some of them, okay, a lot of people don't live like them, and they're just the people that aren't gonna take action, but they wish they would, or they wanna be in that energy or whatnot, and I really wanna only work with the people who are serious about building a profitable business doing what you love, so you don't have to work so hard later, or as soon as possible, right? And you do have to work hard, you do have to work hard at building the business, frankly, and if you want a magic pill, then you don't wanna come to me, um, because I'm going to show you the realistic, practical stuff to do. The point is, um, there's also the thing about, okay, who are the five people that you hang around most, right? And, you know, are they successful? Are they making money? Are they, do they have a positive uh, mindset? Are they based in gratitude and abundance and all that kind of stuff? Because that's going to empower you and help you, um, be that as well and stay in that energy. And that's totally true. Um, but I know a lot of people and I hang around a lot of people, especially in a diamond mastermind that I belong in and some other groups that, I've, that I'm have that i new to in the last year that, that are making really good money, but they wanna live like me too. And you know, it doesn't have to be this high performance, go, 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 oh my God, they never stop, uh, or it doesn't look like they ever stop um, energy when I don't wanna, I don't want that. And so I don't need to surround myself with those types of people. And in fact, I don't even go to those types of events anymore. Um, although I was at one recently and it was great. I don't know how the guy did what he did physically in the three days that I was there. And the content was great, he was great. But I was thinking about my events and my three days and my four day you know, events that I hold. I'm like, I don't know if I have the stamina for that. <laughs> and, and you could say, well, if you worked out two hours a week, Katrina, you probably would. But I don't know if I want to do that in order to get to that. <laughs> so anyways, I don't know. I just had to come on today and talk about this high performance thing and what it was doing to my brain. And if it's doing this to my brain, I'm guessing that some of you are feeling the same way. And I want to tell you that it's okay to build the business the way you want and have the life that you want. And it's okay to binge on Netflix on the weekend if you really just want to unplug. Uh, this last weekend, we totally unplugged for Memorial Day. And three days, honestly, me, Jason, and Riley, all we did was sit around and watch movies and Netflix shows and play games with each other when we were bored of TV. <laughs> and we played with the dogs and we hung out at our house. We had a staycation. And, you know, Jason started feeling guilty about it. I, 
I didn't really feel guilty. He wanted to do yard work. I'm like, nah, I don't want to do yard work right now. You know, we just need to hire someone to do the yard work, honey. <laughs> and I wanted to enjoy time. And the reason I wanted to enjoy my time with them is because I do travel. And when I am home on the weekends, we only have Riley every other weekend usually. I don't want to miss that time. I don't want to be busy doing yard work and pulling weeds and sweating and all that kind of stuff or or running errands and doing laundry and going to the grocery store and all that kind of stuff. I want to have really good quality family time because you don't know how long they're going to be here. You know, I had a scare with Jason when we were engaged and he um, was diagnosed with cancer and I thought, oh my God, no, you cannot go anywhere. I just found you. And it was in that instant, I was like, it doesn't matter. Just give me time with this man, right? And and his daughter. And at that, and I still think of that because life is so short and we see people, good lord, because of Facebook, I see people dying all the time. I just looked at something this morning and my friend's brother is is getting ready to pass, right? And she's spending quality time with him right now. And if I was high performance and high energy and all that kind of stuff, I think I would miss a lot of moments. And I don't want to miss moments. And so I don't know about you, but um, now I'm going to get all more. <laughs> uh, thanks for all your comments. I want to read them, but I didn't want to like stop the flow. Anyways, um, I'm, I'm much more impressed, I think, with people and speakers and coaches and other people who have an amazing family life. Family life. And those are the kind of people that inspire me. Now, some of the high performance people have an amazing family life, so and that's great. But I am more impressed with the true authentic people who are doing well in the world, inspiring lots of people, and have an amazing family life and kid life and love life. And it's not just a facade. Because I've been around people who made it a facade to show that they were having that. And then, you know, soon after they were getting divorced and it was nasty and whatever. That's not true happiness in my mind. And so, I don't know. I just, I felt like I needed to um, to share this today. Maybe you, some of you needed to hear this message. I don't know. Let me put my glasses on and see what some of the comments are. <sighs> Thank you, Raul. Know your value. Don't discount your time. Volunteer, but don't discount. Hundred percent. Yes. Chris says it's about to, it's about figuring out what works best for your rhythm and energy and the lifestyle you want and how you want to live it. What reinvigorates you to help you perform at the level that works for you. What are the right priorities for you to focus on the life you want? True, Chris. Right? Yes. And. Partnering, collaborating is key. Yes, Raul. And so, yeah, I, I'm, you know, I want to do, I want to inspire thousands of people, tens of thousands of people. That is my goal. And that's why I started that International Entrepreneur Network that you guys might have seen for $7 a month. I thought, well, I want to, you know, a lot of people say, well, Katrina, I can't afford you or you're too busy or blah, 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 which is all bullshit, by the way. Okay. And it's just your own mindset and it's your own excuses. <clears throat> but I said, okay, well, I'm doing really well. I want to give to as many people as possible. So I created a, an organization where you guys all get the spotlight. You get the hot seat. You get advice and resources and stuff on your business every single month, multiple times a month on Zoom, personally by me and all the other members for $7. I mean, I thought, well, who in their right mind wouldn't join that? If you're struggling, you can't afford it, you, you're you wondering what to do, you're in overwhelm, you're too busy, that's the time to join and really get some support. I'm just saying, because I'm here to inspire tens of thousands of people too, but in a different way. And so many of you are working too hard and not really doing the most efficient things to, to make money. Okay, and I hate to see that. Um, Stacy says, amen. Thank you, Stacy. Um, part of my Diamond Mastermind crew. And uh, praise the Lord, watching from India. Thank you. Thanks for the inspiration, Kurt, Katrina. And I, you know, I appreciate those comments because I was a little scared of coming on today and talking about this and talking about the fact that, um, 
you know, this stuff gets to me and I feel guilty, but you know, we all have our own head trash and my biggest head trash is that damn comparison trap. It sucks me dry. Oh my God. At least probably once a week. And I have to just get myself out of that and we can't wallow in that. You know, we have to understand and appreciate our shortcomings and our mindset traps and then quickly, um, you know, switch our thinking, and I think I do that pretty well, but it doesn't always, you know, it's still there for some reason. So maybe I need to talk to one of my clients who does hypnosis and get rid of this shit. <laughs> Anyways, so yes, I'm super passionate about helping anybody who wants to build a, a better business, not bigger, it doesn't have to be bigger, but it has to be better for you in your life. And um, without, without comparison, comparing yourself to others, because usually we're comparing ourselves to people who are leaps and strides ahead of us in income or years or doing something completely different or someone who has, you know, 100,000 people on their email list and you have 40, you know, and you're comparing yourself, why aren't I doing that? Well, it's obvious, right? So just give yourself a break. <laughs> give yourself a break. Realize that um, all of that, negative thinking and is false and be true to what you want and um, you can have everything you want um, if you believe it and you also do the work to get there so um, that's what I wanted to share today thanks for oh you would love to join oh please share the link for the seven dollar you said oh my per month group okay it's um it's iEntrepreneurNetwork.com, the letter I, EntrepreneurNetwork.com. I would love to have you. And, and for those who are seasoned business owners, I actually feature you on Facebook Live within the group, and so you're, you can showcase your expertise. So I'm all about helping others. It's, it's not just about me. It's about let's help everybody get to the next level, you know? So thanks, Cindy. Comparison kills, right? Everyone's on their own path, so true. And we just have to stay true to that and let the crappy guilt thoughts out of here. And this is my own therapy, thank you for listening. <laughs> and now I'm gonna go do some follow-up calls because I've been avoiding them because I've been in guilt and annoying whatever. So uh, it'll, it'll stop you from doing those revenue-producing activities too. So hopefully you're on my list to call today, but uh, I'll have a, have a good day, everyone, and I will talk to you soon.